In this Easy Ed video, we will see the story of four HSC students, Hemu, Saroj, Ashu and Niket, as they guide us through the rigorous centralized admission process conducted for allotting seats to aspiring engineering students. To get admission into an engineering yes. college affiliated to Mumbai University, the candidate will have to get selected through CAP, that is, Centralized Admission Process. The Directorate of Technical Education Mumbai is the competent authority for admission to first year engineering for the academic year 2014-15 and shall conduct total four rounds of the centralized allotment process. The first three rounds shall consist of centralized allotment where an eligible candidates of respective rounds will fill and confirm fresh online option forms through their login ID for respective rounds. The fourth round of CAP shall be conducted by counselling eligible for only Maharashtra state candidates. The admission process is similar to the previous years except that JEE main replacing Maharashtra CET. The candidate should be an Indian national and should have passed the HSC examination of Maharashtra State Board of Secondary and Higher Secondary Education or its equivalent examination with subjects English, Physics, Mathematics and Chemistry or Biotechnology or Biology or Technical Vocational Subject. The candidate must secure minimum 50% marks in the subjects Physics, Mathematics and Chemistry or Biotechnology or Biology or technical vocational subject added together. The candidate should also obtain a positive composite score which is the score obtained after adding 50% of JEE main paper 1 marks and 50% of normalized standard 12 marks in PCM. The allotment process of CAP consists of a number of stages and the dates for each of the procedure is mentioned on the DTE's site. The first stage begins with the purchase of the application kit from the nearest of the ARC against payment in cash at the ARC. For general category candidates, the cost of the kit is 700 rupees, whereas for the reserved category and physically handicapped candidates belonging to Maharashtra state, the cost of the kit is relieved to 500 rupees. No other mode of payment is applicable. All important instructions, guidelines and various stages regarding CAP admission are explained in detail in the kit. The kit also contains an application ID and a password which will help the candidate for filling up the application form. Once the candidate has purchased the application kit, he can now proceed with the second stage which is filling up the application form. The application form can be filled from any computer connected to the internet either from home, cyber cafe or at any of the ARCs. The candidate will then fill up the form as per the instructions provided in the kit. The candidate then takes a printed copy of the application form. The printed application shows all the data filled by the candidate and also gives the list of the documents required to verify the same. Once the application is confirmed, the candidate cannot change or edit any information. In the next stage, the candidate will report to any of the convenient ARC along with the printed copy of the application form and the attested copies of the required documents. The candidate should also carry the required original documents for verification. At the ARC, the candidate must verify the information and required original documents and collect an acknowledgement come receipt letter which will have the particulars of the candidate's profile and other important instructions. Then a provisional list for all the candidates will be displayed on the website and at the ARCs it only gives the relative position of the candidate and does not guarantee admission to any course. Next stage of the admission process consists of filling up the online option form through their login ID on the website. It is mandatory for all the candidates to fill up the option form. 
the option form has a provision in which the candidate can provide a list of 100 maximum choice codes. Each course has been assigned a 9 digit choice code. The preference number of the choice code denotes the preference of the candidate, which means that first preference code is given preference over the second. Similarly, second code is given preference over the third and so on. The candidate can then complete the procedure by confirming the submitted online option form by re-entering his application ID and password. The candidate can also take a printed copy for his future reference. After completion of the form filling procedure, allotment of the eligible candidates yes. for the respective rounds are displayed on the website. The candidate has to take out a printed copy of the displayed allotment. The candidate will then report to the allotted institute along with all necessary documents as specified in the brochure to confirm his admission. Payment of the fees shall also be done during this period. The institute will then take out a printed copy of the acknowledgement and then the status of the candidate will change into reported candidate. It is very important for the candidate to confirm his admission on or before the last date or else he shall lose his claim to the allotted seat. Such seats are treated as vacant seats for the subsequent rounds of admission and the candidate will be able to know his status of reporting and eligibility for next rounds through his login ID. The results of the first round are out and Hemu gets an allotment for the course he had applied in the first block. Now he is not eligible for the subsequent cap rounds irrespective whether he confirms the admission or not. Hence, it is recommended to confirm admission at that particular institute. Saroj gets an allotment for one of the courses she had provided in the remaining 99 references from the option form. Now if she is satisfied with the allotment, she can proceed with the confirmation at that respective institute and her name shall automatically be deleted from the subsequent cap rounds. Ashu and Niket unfortunately cannot get any allotment and they automatically get eligible for the subsequent cap rounds. Remember that all the seats that get confirmed at the end of the first round will not be available for the next cap rounds. All the eligible candidates who did not secure admission in the first cap round will have to fill up the option form again. Now in the second cap round, if the candidate secures an allotment in any one of the first three options, then he will not be eligible for the subsequent cap rounds, irrespective of whether he confirms the admission or not. Similarly, for the third cap round, if the candidate secures an allotment in any one of the first seven options, then he will not be eligible for the subsequent cap rounds, irrespective of whether he confirms the admission or not. If the candidate secures an allotment in any of the remaining options, then he can either confirm the seat or go for the next round. Candidates who unfortunately cannot get any allotment automatically get eligible for the subsequent cap rounds. Remember that all the seats that get confirmed at the end of the first and the second round will not be available for the next cap rounds. For cap round 4, all MS and all India seats except the seats which are filled in round 1, 2 and 3 will be merged to MS general seats. All vacant seats in respective categories such as backward, physically handicapped, HU, OHU, etc. will be considered as state level general seats. For the fourth cap round, all the eligible candidates must report in person strictly as per notified schedule in order to secure admission. Candidate is required to pay processing fees of cap round 4 in cash at the center of admission and obtain a receipt for the same. The candidate has to carry all the necessary original documents along with a demand draft of Rs 15,000. Admissions will be provided as per inter merit of the candidate. If the candidate secures admission in this round, he must confirm it by paying the DD and providing the necessary documents. The confirmation of the candidate's admission will be updated in the DTA's website immediately. 
the candidate will then report to the respective college and pay the balance fees as per the notified schedule. If the candidate is unable to pay the fees in the notified period, he will lose the claim to the allotted seat as well as the amount he had paid in the counselling round. Remember that the fourth round is the last cap round and no further rounds will be held. We will take a quick look at all the cap rounds. For the first round, all the students who satisfy the eligibility criteria can apply. The candidate can provide minimum 1 and maximum 100 choice codes. An allotment for first choice code is compulsory. Securing admission for allotment between 2 to 100 choice codes is not compulsory. For the second round, all the students who could not secure or did not secure admission in the first round can apply. The candidate can provide minimum 1 and maximum 100 choice codes. An allotment for first 3 choice codes is compulsory. Securing admission for allotment between 4 to 100 choice codes is not compulsory. For the third round, all the students who could not secure or did not secure admission in the second round can apply. The candidate can provide minimum 1 and maximum 100 choice codes. An allotment for the first 7 choice codes is compulsory. Securing admission for allotment between 8 to 100 choice codes is not compulsory. For the fourth round, all the students who could not secure or did not secure admission in the third round can apply. Counseling is done in Aurangabad. Everyone gets a seat. Remember that this is the last cap round and no further rounds would be held.